Hello Aviators, Sky is with you and today we have our fourth hero of the Epic Airliners race. This video will tell about the father of this race, the most popular, old and honored veteran of the single aisle market. Boeing 737 MAX is a large scale modernization and the fourth generation of the Eternal 737 family. It was released in spring of 2017 and soon will replace its predecessor, the NG model line. As with the AC-20 NEO program, the main MAX innovation is the new engine. But apart from that, the guys from Everett did a lot of work on their old man. The history of the MAX generation was much more rough than the history of its European competitor. Back in 2006, the guys from Boeing knew that Russia and China are developing their own new single-aisle aircrafts. And the Airbus at the time already started the modernization of the A320 family. It was clear that either Americans will offer something of their own, or their most popular aircraft will lose that race. The question of what is this something has to be was acute. Irkut and Comac didn't have a plane before that, so they created new models from scratch. Airbus A320 was pretty young and was not too difficult to upgrade. Boeing 737 was born in 1967 and it cannot be called young. There was a choice to modernize it, as the Europeans did, or to take a clean slate and develop a new airliner. This question was not trivial. There was not a simple way to update the old aircraft, but the creation of a new model promised enormous costs and labor. It is not enough to make a plane. It is necessary to rebuild several huge plants, change the work of thousands of subcontractors, not mentioning the giant global service network. All of this work could cost Boeing nearly 10 to 12 billion dollars, which was too much even for the industry leader. This question was not answered up to 2010, when Airbus officially announced the A320neo project. There was no time to waste. The American Airlines was the last straw. A domestic airline, which before that only used Boeing planes, made an order in Europe for as much as 260 aircrafts. Finally, it was decided to modernize and re-engine the 737 family. The plan suggested that the new MAX generation will be 16% more economy efficient than its predecessor and 4% more efficient than the A320neo family. Moreover, the task was very difficult. To implement it, it was necessary not just to change the engines, but also make many design changes. And if the Europeans spent about billion dollars on their NEO project, Boeing spent three times more money on their MAX. At the end of the summer 2013, the first Boeing 737 MAX fuselage was assembled at the Spirit Air Systems factory. Curiously, the fuselages and many other elements of the Boeing planes are not produced by the Boeing. Two years later, at the Renton factory, the first 737 MAX 8 prototype, named the Spirit of Renton, was rolled out. The plane made its manual flight in 2016. Another year was spent on certification tests and finally, in the spring of 2017, the first aircraft has been delivered to the Malaysian airline Malindo Air. By the end of the year, 74 planes have been delivered to the airlines. The rest of the supplies are still being held by the previous NG models. So, what have they done to the new plane? Structurally, the MAX, of course, is very close to the previous generation, but there is a lot of differences. The most prominent of them, of course, are the new split-tip winglets with a height of almost 3 meters. This innovation can reduce fuel consumption by 1.5% compared to the conventional 737's winglets. At the same time, the wingspan remains the same, just 10 cm wider than the NEO's wings. In addition to the new winglets, the fins, auxiliary power unit inlet and many other airframe elements have also been revised, but we'll return to this later. The avionics have been developed by the traditional supplier Rockwell Collins. The cockpit received four new widescreen displays. Nevertheless, the MAX cockpit has not changed much and in comparison with the new airliners, the MC-21 and C-919, it looks rather conservative. This decision was made to ensure the smooth transition between generations NG and MAX. The passenger cabin was significantly redesigned, using the technologies from the Boeing 787, and the advanced Boeing Sky interior is basic now. 
And now we will watch the main point and problem of this aircraft – the engines. Boeing 737 MAX is equipped with a new CFM International LEAP 1B engines. They are 10 to 12 percent more efficient than previous CFM 56-7B, which are installed on the NG models. It looks pretty awesome. Such engines are installed on the A320neo and Comac C919. But the friendship between 77 and LEAP was difficult. The problem was in the ground clearance. There's not much place to install the engines. It can even be seen by the old CFM56. They are flat on the bottom. The new LEAP engine is even bigger, and in the basic version it would literally scrape over the concrete. Therefore, CFM International had to greatly alter the structure and reduce it in size. The fan of the Model 1B is 22 cm narrower than its brother 1A from the A320neo. Efficiency in this case naturally decreased, also the engine itself became lighter and aerodynamically better. But this was not enough. Boeing strengthened the wing for the new engines and developed new pylons. They even had to increase the height of the landing gear, so the nestle would hang in the legal 43 cm above the ground. This work caused the most of the project's expenses. Totally, there will be four basic planes in the aircraft family. Max 7, Max 8, Max 9 and Max 10. Over time, they will replace the old Dash 700, Dash 800 and Dash 900 ER series. The Max 8 model is the first assembled and delivered plane of the family and the basic version. It is designed to replace the basic 737-800 modification. The passenger cabin can accommodate 162 passengers in two class layout and 210 maximum. Based on Max 8, Boeing developed a submodification 200. In fact, it is the same aircraft but with increased interior space and reduced galleys and toilets. It can accommodate 210 passengers in a single class high density configuration. A present for the low costers. Ryanair has ordered a hundred planes of this version. There's also the version Max 8 ERX. It will be the same as the Max 8, but with a wing landing gear and engines from a large Max 9. All of this was done to provide a longer range of 7,400 km, with setting for 150 passengers, closer to the Airbus A321 LR. Boeing 737 Max 7 is a shorter version of the basic Max 8. It's coming to replace the model 737-700 and can carry from 138 to 172 passengers. The aircraft has the same wing and landing gear as the MAX 8, but the fuselage is shortened by 3.9 meters. Meet the large MAX 9. This aircraft will have an enlarged wing and reinforced landing gear. The fuselage is extended and the mass is almost 6 tons more. It will be able to accommodate a maximum of 220 passengers to replace the model Dash 900 ER. Lion Air is the launch customer. It will receive the plane soon. A321 still does not give place to Boeing. There is one more plane, the biggest one, to compete it. Boeing 737 MAX 10, with a modified airframe and a strange fuselage can accommodate 230 passengers and fly to a distance over 6,100 km. The MAX 10 was launched on June 19, 2017 with 240 orders and commitments from more than 10 customers. For now, airlines are waiting nearly 300 planes of this model. And finally, a little joy for the rich guys. On the basis of all major versions, Boeing will develop large business jets. The Boeing business jet MAX 9 will fly on 11,600 km. The MAX 8 will reach 11,700 km. And the small BBJ MAX 7 will have a maximum range of 13,000 km. At the beginning of 2018, Boeing collected orders for approximately 4,300 planes of the MAX generation. Not bad, but for now they didn't beat the Airbus record nearly 5,600. It is clear that Boeing reached the maximum of 737 family capabilities. Maybe this fact caused the name MAX. Even the slightest improvements had a great cost for engineers. 
So, Max will probably become the final chapter of the 77th story. Already, the company is working on the issue of creating a completely new airliner, which will appear presumably by the end of 2020s. And then, the time will come for Airbus to get concerned. But for a while, the main American flying machine remains 77. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Fast flights and soft landings to you.